Hey guys, my uh, recording messed up a little bit and uh, I was way too far into it to try to start all over again. So I'm just going to upload these two videos back to back. So um, look for uh, pota uh, Potato Stacker 2 and Potato Stacker 3, okay? So where we last left off is we had just put those three screws in there. All right, with the glue, and we were pulling it out, and I was trying to show you that, all right, so this one comes into that board, right? So now we want that board to come in to this board on the side there, so you can see the difference, all right? Because if you don't shape it like that, then you're not going to get your perfect square. Alright, so you go ahead and line that up in your vise or however you're using it to hold it together and, and make your life simple. Alright, and uh, get it in there real good and... Sure we get her flush as we possibly can. Tighten her all down so she's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so now you, you know you can see. One goes into one, and then it goes into the next one, and just keeps going around and around until you get all four sides, all right? I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and let you guys finish that part and try to keep this video as short as possible. All right, so if you did everything right, you should have a square that looks like that, and when you look at it, only one side should have screws if you did it right on each and every single one of them. All right. So that's what you're looking for. Now, depending on how many levels you're going to do between three and six, you need to repeat this. Okay. So if you're going to do six levels, make six of these. All right. And then I'll get back to you here in a moment when I'm done making the rest of mine. All right, guys. Hopefully, if you did everything right, they should hopefully be nice and even like that. And now we have to decide how we want those screws to go because, you know, they alternate. So I decided to go with the staggered look. All right, you guys can match them up and keep them all in a line however you want. <clears throat> so now we're going to move on. We're going to take care of the bottom here. And if I did my measurements right, which I hope I did, I should have just enough. Yes, I do. All right. <clears throat> So here's where things get a little bit of interesting. Well, not really. I'm lying, it's not that interesting. But uh, you need drainage, okay? So when you are setting these out, all right, put some toothpicks between them, all right? So take your toothpick, crack it a little bit at an angle so it won't fall through like that and uh, space these out so that you get proper drainage now I really don't think you should use anything much bigger than a toothpick because anything bigger than a toothpick 
is probably going to be too big. So, oop. So, all right, I guess we need to do these two picks just a little bit more, I guess, of an angle than what I was doing. So go ahead and bring them to a full L so that they stop dropping through. Man, that bugger does not want to stay no matter what I do, guys. I keep trying and trying and it keeps finding a way to fall through. All right, so then you're going to just kind of try to get them as best as you can. Nice and flush, nice and even. Now you're going to see that it's probably not going to go all the way to the edge, all right? And that's no big deal. Once again, we, we need a little bit of drainage. It's, it's not going to hurt. And uh, hopefully you guys have a little bit of scraps left over so that we can actually, this one's a little small, but I, I have some scraps somewhere else be able to put a board across like that and screw it down into these side parts just to make it a little more secure. So once you get that shaped like that, you're gonna repeat everything. You're gonna drill into here your your holes. All right, all the way across on both sides. Oops, that one's getting in a little bit. Try to keep these drill holes centered to the board that, the, the second board that you're drilling into, not the first one, but the second one. Try to keep it as centered to that as you possibly can. So once again, we're gonna drill these holes out, put glue down in them, all right, and then screw them down. I'll get back to you in a second when I'm finished with my bottom, okay? Okay, guys, if you did your job right, it should come out looking a little bit like this on the bottom with your gaps. You might have a little gap there, or it might actually come closer to the edges a little bit. That's, you know, depends on how it works out. But um, and then, of course, screws should always be a little bit off. All right. Now, I'm working with really soft, cheap pine here. All right, so if you see some cracking like uh, right here, um, that's, that's really no big deal for what I'm doing. You guys try very hard not to do that. You shouldn't be doing that with fur and the fact that you're using way stouter uh, lumber than I am, okay? So the next step is going to be getting those 20-inch... All right, and you're gonna get your measuring tape and your clamps. And the way we're gonna do 
this is I am missing one last thing. Um, oh, that's because it's in here. All right, I'm gonna pause you guys again for one quick second. I cannot find my square. All right, I'm back. So uh, take your square. All right, for you guys, you're gonna to wanna to measure out three inches. Okay, I'm, I'm not doing three inches. I'm doing one and a half inches. Okay, so I'm only going one and a half. You guys, doesn't matter what side it is because from here on out, it should basically be the same whether you're doing the two by two um, potato stacker or the three foot by three foot potato stacker. Either which way, it should be pretty much the same from here on out. So you guys want to mark that mark right there at about three inches or at three inches. Let me rephrase that. Okay. Get your mark on there. And then what we're going to do, all right, is if you got that good store bar bought lumber you are gonna want to come in that um, one and three fourths inch in this way and make a mark okay for me I didn't I went with something a lot smaller so I'm only gonna come in Right about a half inch. Okay. And you get that across there, that, that mark. So right here it should be like that. And what we want to do is take this line here. And this line, all right, so we're going to flip this over like this. And we want to butt it right up to that line. Okay. And then on this side, we want to bring it out to that line. All right, do you see the, the little line down there? Here, let me give you a better shot and I'm gonna pull it into it. All right, get that marked. Flip her back over. All right, so I'm thinking it'll probably be best if we put a mark. Go ahead and leave the mark on this side. It might be a little bit easier. Um, so line up there, line up there, and once we get it as good as we possibly can, and this is, this is kind of crucial to make your stacks really nice so that they stack up real nice, is try to get it as perfect as you possibly can. All right, and then we're going to take, oops, that was not smart. Guys, I got to, I forgot to have your uh, clamps ready. I did not have my clamp ready. So, put that clamp. that clamp on there and you know I guess we can kind of
snug it down just a little bit to where once uh, we get it there, it'll still move a little bit looser. Okay, so we're going to line up that line, and we're going to line up that line. Once you get it as good as you can get it, tighten her down. All right. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of stagger it. So we're going to put one over here. All right. And then we're going to put one down here. And we're going to put one over here and one down here somewhere. All right, so I have a mark about right here, mark about here, here, and here. So they're, they're staggered. All right, and the reason being is you want the legs to be sturdy and not want to do this thing all right so <clears throat> you you offset them so that they can do that and then once you get that of course we go back to the same old same old drilling 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 Let's start with these two over here. It'd probably be easiest. Oop, I'm going to pause you because it's going to get loud. But go ahead and drill out these, uh, all, all these holes. You might, you might have to drill, glue, and screw a couple and come back and drill out the rest of them, all right? Because of your, uh, your clamp being in your way. But I will be back to show you in a second what it should look like. Alright guys, so when you get back it should look, or uh, when you get done it, it should look something like that. Alright. Now we're going to basically do the same thing all over again. So, uh... Um, Get your next leg. All right, and you're going to measure out that three inches. For me, it's one and a half. All right, so measure out that three inches on your next leg. All right, well, that's hard to see, but it's there. Alright guys, so uh, 
This one should be a little bit simpler because you actually have the uh, the edge of the board here to be able to tell you where to place that. So you shouldn't have to measure out from this angle other than this top board here to make sure that you end up with your three inches coming above the uh, <clears throat> the wood there. So that we get it right. You guys should have it a little easier. You got that nice 90 degree angle me on the other hand i got these rounded beveled edges i'm trying to work around here and so once we get those right where we want them we'll tighten down make your four your four again. So one, two, three, and four. You guys, you guys are doing 10 inches, so you can actually do more six, eight. You know, you can go odd numbers if you want. Doesn't really matter, just as long as you're getting those holes staggered, all right? So now we're gonna drill them, glue them, screw them, and I'll get back to you in one second. All right, so if everything came out right, you should have a nice little uh, even gap, seeing on each side there. I'm looking at right here, there should be a Pretty much relief so when you're looking down at it you got a nice uh, even relief in between there so now do the other four just like it make sure you're using those 20 inch legs all right and three inches above above the top of the board okay of the the, the bottom of the <clears throat> the bottom of it well you know what i'm saying anyways i'm gonna finish my other four and get back to you all right everybody if you did it right you should end up with something that looks about like so on all corners being pretty uh, well evened out there, all right? And then of course, you're gonna have your, your lift here and this is what's gonna make it module. All right, so <clears throat> go ahead and use a Dremel or a Sawzall or whatever you can to cut these little screw ends out if you end up with little screw ends like I did. You don't have to, just, you know, if you're in there grabbing your potatoes out, you don't want to accidentally get hit by one of those. So at least file it down a little bit so it's not so sharp. And then if we did everything right, we should be able to just squeeze the next level in here you know, it looks like I might have gotten it just a little bit too tight so, let's, uh, see if it works this way goodness what did I do wrong oh 
Hold on one second, guys. Okay, once again, I just got to point out, guys, that I did not use the best lumber because I was trying to save a penny since I cannot use this potato stacker. But you should be able... No, let me do it this way. To squeeze your second layer in between here, which should leave just a little bit of space here <clears throat> actually um if it works out right it should be about three or uh seven inches seven inches right here um because then you're going to put seven eight nine yeah three inches on top of it sticking up just like you did here all the way around and I will be back shortly to show you that. Okay. Okay, guys, I know this is a little tough to see, so bear with me. So now you're going to grab your next 2x4 for your next lever, layer. As you can see, I've got both layers now. Do not screw this section down. You want to be able to pull these apart. So do not screw this section down into the board. Okay. Then you're going to take your 10 edge sections of your 2x4 and you're going to match those up like that, okay? And then what you're going to do is take your clamp, which I have underneath here, and we're going to clamp her down, got her upside down. And get her clamped. And then we're going to mark our holes right there. And right here. Once again, staggered. And you stagger it as many times as you can fit. Alright, I can only fit two. You should be able to fit two or uh, four or five, maybe even six. Now I'm going to drill my holes and get back to you. Alright guys, once you get your holes drilled, once again we're going to put a little dab of glue. It helps if we open it up right. Little dab of glue there, little dab of glue there, and then we're going to screw them down. So, we had a little bit of a blowout there, so we're going to loosen her up just a little bit. You guys shouldn't have that problem once again. I'm going to point that out because you should be dealing with way better wood than I am. All right. So then once you get that done, you're going to do the other seven all the way around like you did the legs, okay? All right, guys. If you did your second layer right, you should have... The little bits here sticking out. We should look about like that. Nice and square. All of them corners done. And now we're going to move on to the next layer after I break this one apart. And bring it down a little bit so it's easier for you to see. Okay, once again guys, that's your bottom layer. Alright, here's your second layer, or what would be your third layer, your fourth layer, and possibly your fifth layer, but no more than your fifth layer. These are your center sections, and you see how that board there is all set. Alright, alright. 
Now I'm going to pause you for one quick second. Alright guys, so I took my next section, which is going to be my top section. Alright. You guys might have to make more center layers, but this is going to be my top section. So this is how you make the top section. If you notice, there's a relief at the top here and a relief at the bottom. This is where it will come and lock in. And this is going to be where you're going to take your small um, seven inch sections. All right, and you're gonna put them like that, all right? All right, and then you're gonna do what you did all the other times. You're gonna clamp it down, and you're gonna drill it, and you're gonna screw it and glue it, and you're gonna do every section all the way around. So that's gonna be eight of them, all right? All right, guys, <clears throat> so of course mine's not gonna look that great because I did use ripped lumber, cheap lumber, small, thin, dry lumber, so my screws are not countersinked. Yours should be countersinked. And that should be what your top section looks like with the center section connected to it at the little bottom here. Let me take it apart real quick and show you all the separate sections. All right, guys, so there's what your top section should look like. Something about like that. Your center sections should look like that. All right. And then, of course, your bottom section should look something like that, all right? Hold on one second, and I'll show you the finished project. Okay, guys, so that's what the finished project should look like. All right, you see how that appears to be one flawless seam. If you did it right, it'll look better with better lumber. I can't stress that enough. I, I really used bad lumber. I mean, as you can see, all the little cracking and stuff from it being so dry and warped. Um, but it comes apart. Pretty simple. It's a little bit tight the first few times you use it, but you should just be able to very easily take it off section by section or build it section by section. So there it is guys. Complete potato stacker showing how to make and not the best video quality or conditionings but there it is i hope you guys enjoyed the video please consider liking and subscribing and uh without a doubt guys that was definitely a hard one to do on camera <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it works out great in your garden and you have a fun time building it remember god's good and god bless you